Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Angela and here we talk about fragrances and perfumes. So if you like this sort of content, I highly suggest that you subscribe down below. So it is the nearing the end of February, March, March, nearing the end of March. And so I thought I'd do my monthly perfume favorites or my monthly perfume wrap up. So, okay, so I don't know about you guys, but where I'm living at right now, it's gotten hotter. It's been like in between hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, like every other week. So I've been using a lot of spring fragrances, but also a lot of like warm, sweet gourmand winter fragrances. So yeah. Um, okay, so first I have Chinatown by Bond number nine. This is a fairly newer one to my collection. So I have been kind of trying to wear it more often to test it out for you guys, but so yeah, I've been wearing this a lot. So it's mainly a white floral fragrance. Fragrance. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. It's mainly a white floral fragrance. White floral fragrance. White floral floral fragrance. It's mainly a white floral fragrance. So it has a little bit of a powderiness to it and the dry down especially. It has some spicy oriental cardamom notes. And yeah, so let me spray it this over where I don't have perfume. So the opening is a fresher bergamot white floral. And that quickly dries down to a little bit of a spicy, very, very well blended cardamom spicy note. Also vanilla. So it has a little bit of warmth to it, but it's still a fresher white floral in my opinion. So the cardamom in this is also very, very well blended. It's not too harsh and not too off-putting. So yeah, I know a lot of people cardamom that kind of bothers them, but this one was a very, very well blended one in my opinion, at least. And this is a very elegant, classy, kind of on the mature side perfume, but I feel it's very versatile. It's definitely a more feminine fragrance. This, when I smell it, I imagine like a very, I don't know, like a classic, elegant, very well put together, definitely an older person. Yeah, this smells like old money to me. <laughs> So yeah, that's my, oh, and I have this on it, if you guys are wondering, because this is a tester bottle and this actually helps so that I can smell it on the atomizer. If I don't have it, I can't really smell it at all as I spray it. So yeah, so that's Chinatown by Bond number nine. Okay, so I got really excited when the weather started getting warm. I was like, oh my gosh, summer's here. So <laughs> I started wearing EDK Creme de Queer, Creme de Queer during the warmer months, or warmer days here. So this is a fresh green pineapple scent with a little bit of suede in the background and the base note. The pineapple in this is not a sweet pineapple, more of like a juicy pineapple, but it's a very well blend with the suede. So I think that's what takes the sweetness away. But so this is a very green, fresh pineapple suede scent. So it's not a very harsh animalistic suede. It's more of like a soft, not too in your face version of a leather fragrance in my opinion. So, and this pineapple is a very, it's a kind of a subtle pineapple in my opinion. So it is dominant, but when blended with the suede, I feel like it takes away the sweetness. So it's not too syrupy sweet. Yeah, so I, I was wearing this in the warmer weather because it kind of freshened me up, but still had a leather note, which I love. So yeah. Again, longevity is on this is okay. I do have a spray and it does project the first couple of hours. So yeah, that's BDK Parfums Creme de Queer. I'm trying to switch back and forth between like summer and winter scents, just to make it more interesting. So then I have Montal Chocolate Greedy. This is a chocolate bomb. Like, it smells like a chocolate cacao, cacao powder dusted dessert. So this opening, you can definitely get that mandarin orange. So it's of a synthetic, more synthetic orange. It smells exactly like a chocolate cake. So opening is orange with, and that, the orange quickly dries down, I think in like 30 minutes or so. So orange dries down to like a dusty, powdery chocolate scent. And I love it. I love it, especially for these chillier months. Makes me feel really cozy and anyways, but when the chocolate dries down and it takes a long time to dry down to that vanilla scent for me. So it dries down to like a very sweet vanilla cakey scent. And this longevity is like crazy. This will last me through the whole day. Yeah, I've been wearing this a lot during the colder months because the weather is so bipolar, but yeah. Longevity is great, projection is great. And yeah, it makes me smell like a chocolate cake basically. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's my top chocolate greedy. Okay, then I have Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. This is 57. Oh, this one I love. This is like, it's so beautiful. It's like a sparkling peach slash nectarine and the opening is a little bit fruity. And the florals in this are a very oriental floral. So it has a rather sweet base. It has a kind of like a Middle Eastern vibe to it, a little bit, not too much. I think it gives it that uniqueness and I love this. The scent is so addicting to me. Like the more I've worn it, the more I've liked it and enjoyed it. So yeah, I love this so much. And it's a very distinctive scent in my opinion. This could definitely be a signature scent and definitely worn year round too. So yeah, Deja Vu White Flower 57. Oh, and also the longevity on this is medium. It gives me like a, like five to seven hours. So it's not too bad, but it's not crazy, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> thought I'd add that in there. Okay, and lastly, oh my gosh, my hair is so frizzy. Lastly, I have a Ellie Sub Le Parfum. So this is a very, very classical fragrance. So again, this is similar to the Ellie Sub, except it's not as sweet, it's not too heavy, and it's a more light, fresh version of that. So. It's also an oriental floral and it has this honey note, which I think gives it that beautiful, beautiful depth and really makes it stand out from other generic light florals, in my opinion. Longevity on this is really good on my skin and this is a very versatile, I'd say keep it in the daytime. Well, for me personally, I only like wearing it in the daytime because it is a lighter floral, but yes, yeah, definitely year round, definitely, definitely could be a signature scent and very elegant, classy, good for all age groups in my opinion too. Um, and it is rather affordable in my opinion. So yeah, definitely check this one out. I love this and I feel like it's definitely a crowd pleaser where most people will fall in love with this. So yeah, Ellie Saab, Le Parfum. Okay guys, so that is all the perfumes I have for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Yeah, I'm so glad I was able to actually catch the end of the month to do this guy to do this video with you guys do this video for you guys so yeah clearly i don't have a good sense of time so thank you guys for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video